Welcome to the Texas Nerd House, y'all. Now, this might be the only show where we have a Fairchild Channel F multi-cart, but yet somehow managed to misplace the Fairchild Channel F system inside the house somewhere. But that's okay, because we're showing a very interesting hardware hack for the DEC PDP-11 system and its associated LK201 keyboard. Now, for those of you familiar with the channel, you know that this isn't a real DEC PDP-11. It's the Soviet clone called the Electronica DVK-3 from 1989, and it's associated keyboard clone, the Electronica MS-7004. Well, this 7004 here is starting to show some signs of age because it's got some keys that intermittently don't work on it, and the keys that don't work actually tend to travel a little bit, and so I think it just needs some cleaning back there. Some debris gotten inside of it and just needs to be knocked out. But also, let's say I got a wild hair and maybe want this guy to be controlled by people over a Twitch stream. Well, they're not going to be able to have access to this keyboard. So we need to build a keyboard emulator for the system. And to do that, I have devised a little system involving an Arduino and some voltage regulators. And this allows us to unplug the real keyboard and plug in this device. And this device could take in signals from the internet or other types of control devices and allow you to control a PDP-11 through the keyboard interface using whatever machinations you can design. So this enables all kinds of interesting dreams to come true. So if you want to learn more, then check out how this works. All right, let's fire up the Russian PDP-11 clone. And immediately, it drops us into the ODT, or Octal Debugging Terminal. And the keyboard controller is printing out fours all over the place. Now, as we pan over to the oscilloscope, you can see our voltages are between 6 and negative 2 volts. And you can see what the scan code for the number 4 looks like. Now, these voltages aren't quite in line with the spec for the LK201 protocol, but obviously the system is working as it is. Now, the Arduino is producing the scan codes over its serial interface on a TTL voltage level, and this circuitry over here contains our voltage regulators, which are amplifying it to the right signal levels. Now, as we pan over, here's a graphic of the keyboard scan code sent by the various keys of the DEC LK201 keyboard. And finally, let's look at the Arduino code that makes all this happen. In this case, it's very simple. All we do is start off initializing the serial bus at 4800 baud, we wait for one second, and then we send the initialization codes for the DEC LK201 keyboard. Once the system realizes the keyboard is ready, then we can begin sending the scan code for the number 4 and then waiting one second in perpetuity. Right now, it's not incredibly useful, but it does lead to a whole bunch of the number 4s on screen. The computer doesn't know what we're doing with all this stuff, but all we're looking to do is to test something that could lead to future interesting experiments and interactions. We hope you found this hardware hack to be informative and possibly inspirational as well. Stay tuned to our channel to see more such videos relating to old computers, pinball machines, and arcade cabinets. Bye, y'all!